talking about the characters and the distribution of anthropoid apes. Anthropoid means man-like and apes means tailless monkeys. The living anthropoid apes, the humans, and our immediate ancestors are placed under the superfamily hominoidi of the order primate of the classification of animal kingdom. This superfamily hominoidi has three distinct families that is Hylobatidae, Pongidae, and Hominidae. This Hylobatidae is represented by the given and Xiamang. The Pongidae is represented by the three great apes that is Orang Utan, Chimpanzee, and Gorilla. And the Hominidae is represented by the modern human beings and the our immediate ancestors that is the Australopithecine fossil men and Homo erectus fossil men. And now coming to the characters and the distribution of the living anthropoid apes, first I am talking about Gibbon. Given this animal, it is the smallest of all the anthropoid apes. The average height of this given is 3 feet in stature and the average weight is 13 pounds or 5.85 kg. There is no any difference in the secondary sexual difference between the two sexes. The body of this animal is covered by fine woolly hairs which is of black to white silvery color. Regarding the head and face of this animal, the face is short flat and protrusive. Especially the jaw is projected forward and one of the most interesting features of this animal in the facial region is the spike-like canine which is used as deadly weapon and also can inflict deep and slash wounds upon its fellow member. The canine teeth are interlocking each other and because of this interlocking nature of the canine teeth there is a gap which we call as diastema in the dental series of this animal given. Regarding the arm and leg of this animal, the arm length is 238% of the total body height, while for the leg length is only 147% of the total body height. The arm swinging motion of this animal is of pendulum nature. When it jumps from one bow to another, it oscillates before coming to rest. And 90% of the given locomotion is by brachiation. And this animal given is an expert climber and jumper. This animal it is totally arboreal in habit. And when it stands erect on the ground, its fingertip touches the ground. There is a scale callosity, which is a thickened skin at the posterior part of this animal. This scale callosity is present particularly at the posterior aspect of the ischium of the pelvis bone. Carpenter, who studied about the given species, has observed nine types of vocalization among these species. It's vocal has definite functions he assumes. The cranial capacity is very small, that is only 100 cc. Regarding the food habit, this animal is totally omnivorous in habit. It, it's varieties of fruits, insects. However, 80% of this food is constituted by the fruits. Regarding the distribution of this animal, this anthropoid app is found in the The next anthropoid F is represented by the orang utan, and this anthropoid F is found in the islands of Sumatra and Borneo. Regarding the size of this animal, it is more than 4 feet, it is somewhat taller than the given, and the body weight, it ranges from 74 to 90 kg, 
and the female orangutan is somewhat smaller and lighter in body weight and body stature. And the body of this animal orangutan is covered by long coarse saggy woolly hairs which is of reddish brown in color. And regarding the head and face of this animal, there is a prominent sagittal crest at the top of the head. And this sagittal crest it is an elevated ridge running from front to back side along the mid sagittal line and this sagittal crest provides an attachment area for strong muscles and ligaments running from the jaw up to the top of the head and this sagittal crest also support to hold up the head and regarding the facial portion this orangutan face can be distinguished from the face of the given in the facial portion jaw occupied the most part of the face and jaw is very very large and also protrusive and the canine teeth are tux like and interlocking is other and also projects beyond the levels of the other teeth in this anthropoid ape because of the protrusive nature of this jaw both the upper and lower jaw its tooth is very large in size in compare with the human being in this animal the leg is extremely short and its movement is said to be very slow and deliberate and this is because of the extreme shortness of this leg of the animal and the arms are comparatively longer than the legs and when this animal stands erect on the ground its fingertip touches the ankle this animal orangutan can straighten up its body but with great difficulty usually it walks on the ground on all fours regarding the foot habit of this animal this animal is omnivorous in diet and it eats varieties of plants and also insects the third anthropoid ape is gorilla Gorilla, it is the strongest and largest of all the apes. The height of this animal ranges from 5 to 6 feet and the body weight ranges from 200 to 250 kg. However, in case of female gorilla, the body height and body weight are slightly smaller and lighter. The gorilla body is covered by long coarse saggy hairs which ranges from black to dark brown in color. In the head region, there is a prominent sagittal crest and provides an area for attachment of strong muscles and ligaments coming from the jaw and it also supports to hold up the head. In the facial portion, the jaw occupies the most prominent part. The jaw is very, very massive and also protrusive. The canines are also interlocking each other in the dental series, and the canines are projected beyond the level of other teeth. Among the anthropoid apes, the jaws are U-shaped, but in the case of human beings, it is parabolic in shape. And because of the u shape and the large size of its tooth, the jaw projects forward. Another important feature in the facial region, it is the presence of supraorbital torus, which is very prominent and not found in other anthropoid apps. It is a prominent ridge, which is 
found just above the orbital cavity. Regarding the arms and legs of this animal, the arms are somewhat longer and when this animal stands erect on the ground, its fingertip touches the knee. The gorilla foot is very large and massive and the anatomy of gorilla foot resemble with those of the human being. This animal is almost terrestrial and hardly it can climb on the tree because of its heavy body weight most of the time it spends on the ground. The cranial capacity of this animal is 550 cc but it is somewhat lesser in case of female. Usually this animal go on the ground on all fours but sometimes it can walk and stand on the ground. Regarding the foot habit, who observe gorillas never eats any kind of animal. Gorilla, it is an African ape. This animal inhabited the last anthropoid ape is chimpanzee. There are four different varieties of chimpanzee. However, characters are almost similar with one another. The chimpanzee body height ranges from 5 feet to 5 feet 6 inches and the average body weight is 125 kg but in case of female it is 100 kg. Therefore, chimpanzee females are lighter and smaller in height and weight. The body of this chimpanzee is covered by long coarse saggy hairs which is of different colors. Regarding the face and head of this animal, there is no any distinct feature like sagittal crest, which are found in case of orangutan and gorilla. Regarding the face of this animal, the jaw is less protrusive in this animal, but the canines are still interlocking and tucks like and also its tooth decrease in size in this animal. The nose of the chimpanzee is inhuman in character because there is a depression at the middle of the nose and nasal tip is also very broad which is inhuman in nature. Regarding the arms and leg of this animal, when chimpanzee stands erect on the ground, its finger tip is above the knee. Therefore, the chimpanzee body proportion is somewhat similar with those of the human being. The body proportion in terms of leg length, in terms of arm length, in terms of trunk length are somewhat similar with those of the human being. However, in case of food, the great toe is set apart that is projects inward from other toe it indicates that the foot of the chimpanzee is meant for grasping function. The chimpanzee is an expert climber. It has an agility to climb upon the tree. However, most of the time it spins on the ground. There is a scale callosity as in the case of other anthropoid apes, which is a thickened skin which helps at the time of sitting. The chimpanzee cranial capacity ranges from 400 to 500 cc. However, this cranial capacity is somewhat smaller in the case of female chimpanzee. The dental formula of this animal is also similar with those of other anthropoid apes and human beings. There are altogether 32 teeth. Carpenter one scientist has recorded five types of vocalization among these species 
and each of which has a definite communicative function. Chimpanzee is a social animal. They live in social groups consisting of families and chimpanzee groups consist of many families and one family consists of parents and children. Regarding the distribution and food habit, this chimpanzee is distributed in the same habitat as those of the gorilla that is in the tropical forests of Africa, but the habitat also includes the mountain and also the rainforest. Chimpanzee, they can kill different types of mammal species for their food. Among the four anthropoid apps, chimpanzee shows somewhat near to the human being. Studies on molecular anthropology reveals that the 146 amino acid sequence in the hemoglobin protein between the chimpanzee and men are almost similar. However, between the gorilla given and human being, there is only one difference in the amino acid sequence. Moreover, Saris estimated times of evolutionary divergence also indicate that. At around the late Miocene epoch, some members of the family Ramaphidaceidae, which is a distinct family according to some biologists, evolved as direct ancestors of the living apes. On the other hand, some members of the family Ramaphidaceidae evolved as ancestors of human beings. Before the five million years, the ancestors of the living apes and the human stood on the same evolutionary tree. Thereafter, they diverted in different directions and produced different morphological variations as a result of interaction between the organisms and their environments. Here, I remember one statement given by an ecologist that genes always interact with the environmental factor. What I feel is, it is very correct. Since anthropology studies about men from various aspects or from various angles, and particularly in physical anthropology, we used to study the characteristics of primates, the characteristics of anthropoid apes, so as to understand the evolution of men, adaptation, variation, and anatomical differences or anything or any problem which is directly or indirectly related with men.